When we try to configure a brand new PBX, the first thing to do is to change the default IP address. Normally, we need to go back and forth between our computer and the PBX web GUI to get it down. But with Yaystar brand new P-Series PBX, we can use the NFC function to simplify this process. NFC, known as Near Field Communication. It's a set of communication protocols for communicating between two electronic devices over a very short distance. Now let's see how we use this technology on our mobile to configure network settings of our P-Series PBX exactly. First, open Lancus on our mobile and don't forget to upgrade the version of Lancus to the latest. Click on NFC from the bottom. We can see the pop-up window telling us the phone is ready to scan. Secondly, hold the mobile, put the part with an NFC chip close to the Yaystar logo of our P-Series PBX. The PBX doesn't need to be powered on, we can just keep it unplugged. Then we will be able to do the network configuration with our mobile. Now, we can change the Ethernet mode, IP address, gateway, DNS server, and so on. After modifying the network parameters, use our mobile to scan an NFC chip of our PBX again to let these network settings take effect. However, you might wonder, does it mean that anybody taking a smartphone with an NFC function can walk in my server room, change the IP setting of my PBX whenever they want? Don't worry, that's not gonna happen. The IP parameters can only be edited while our P-Series PBX is at system default. Otherwise, the NFC function will be in read-only mode. Now we can connect the PBX to our local area network, power on the PBX, type in the IP address we just set up, and go to the login page directly. Alright, that was all for this video. If you guys are interested in more information about Yaystar brand new P-Series PBX, please don't forget to subscribe and visit yaystar.com. Yeah.